Hello everyone, welcome back to my C language tutorial, and this time we'll be learning about the switch statement right here. So, switch is kind of like if, except you get to use a lot more cases inside of the same curly brackets, so it's a lot more organized in the event that there's lots of different possibilities. So, let's see that in, ex in an example. Let's have an integer, call it x, and then let's do a kind of quiz game. So, print f, what is 2 plus 2? And then uh, enter with the backslash n. Now we scan f for x using the scan f that we learned in the last video, percent sign d. And remember the AND sign here, it's very easy to forget. And now we switch, and inside of it we put the variable that we're testing for. So it's x in this case. So now we can do the actual case-by-case uh, -case checking, and that's just using the case. So case colon is how you use this. And uh, in case it is 1, print f, the answer is 4. And then we have to add a break at the end. So break basically means just get out of the program, just like jump from this point to after the nearest curly bracket. And then case 2, and f, the answer is 4. So, we can keep going like that, but eventually we're going to get to case 4. And I forgot the break here. I'm not actually that familiar with using the switch statement, because I just like to use if because it's a lot more easy to understand. And if that is correct. And then we break. So, now let's run the program, see what happens. What is 2 plus 2? Let's say 2. The answer is 4. So that does what it should. Now let's do the right answer. 4. Okay, that is correct, and the program is working as it should. But what if we do 7? Nothing happens. So in the event that we're using a, an, an if statement for this, we would also have the same result, but where the switch statement really shines is that you can use default. Um... This basically means, under the situation that it's not any of these, these cases, you can just go to default. So, the answer is 4. Now, for this example, we could actually just write an if statement that would work exactly the same, but it should be easy to understand that using switch makes your code a lot more organized instead of just having tons of if statements so that's one benefit of using switch now um, the reason why there's no break at the end of default is that basically to get to here you'd have to run through all of the previous um, examples which would break if they were um, activated. So to get to here, line 20 and 21, it would mean that you're already at the end of this switch statement, so you don't even have to do the break anymore. Although you definitely could. The code would work basically the same. But that's kind of just a waste of space. Yeah, it works the same, but that's just one extra line that's kind of redundant. So, 
Now, let's try for a different kind of variable. Let's do um, a character, char c. Now, let's comment this out. We won't need it anymore. Um, print f. What grade did you get on your test? So, for characters, this is one example I can think of that would really shine for the switch statement. Because there's a lot more situations that would really just not even need you. Actually, I mean, there's a lot more situations where you'd actually have to put in, like, a case. So, it's a lot better than just this example with the integer and the math question, which only has one answer. So, to show what I mean, let me just comment this part out and then show what I mean. So really, what we did with the case 1 and case 2, it doesn't even matter at all. Because this is the only right answer and all the other ones will basically return the same result that whatever you got was wrong and that the answer is 4. So, let's run this. So we can still do 2. And we can still do, like, 1. It doesn't even matter at all. So, for math questions, you should probably just use if. And then for characters, I think uh, to use switch is a lot more beneficial. Present sign C. And then and C. Now, we use switch. Put C in. And then open close brackets. Now, we can do several different types of cases. Um, okay. Case A. Print F. X. Excellent job. And then break case. Oh, wait, it's a single quote. Case B. Print F. Great job. Case C. Okay, I forgot to break there. Print, print F. Um, there's always room for improvement. Okay, now let's get rid of that first. Okay. So I think I actually have to use a black backslash here for this uh, single quote because it might mess with my program otherwise case D and F break um try harder next time in case, actually, there's only one more case, so now we can default. Actually, no, we we can't default yet. We have to do case of. So now we can print f something like. I don't really know what I would say in this situation. Actually, probably like. Um, that is a lot of room for improvement. Okay. And then default is print of that is not a grade. So what I did here was if they don't enter any of these options, then it basically means that they're just trying to mess with the program, like the user. So, for example, hmm, okay. 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Put that. So if I put a three, it would show that it's not a grid because three is not even a letter. So and if I put Z, that's also not a grid. Then we can go case by case. And one one case that I'm really interested in is case C. So that works as intended. Now let's see what happens if I don't put the backslash there. Oh, it also works. So that's one thing to note. You don't have to put backslash um, for the single quotes here. But I think you do for like double quotes or something. Like, for example, this. And then this. No. All right, I'll have to look in that, look into that later. I'll probably get back to you guys on that on the next video. But that is basically how you use the switch statement for integers and characters. So basically, to summarize, you you, you should use if most of the time when you're doing kind of math problems for you know, simple addition where there's only one answer. And then you should use switch when you're doing like user input where there's lots of ways for the user to mess up whatever input they're trying to do. Like we saw here when I typed in the letter Z, which was not even a grade here. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.